Hi everybody. In this video, we will see how do we compare fractions with the help of LCM. So let's get started with a question. We have three fractions. Which one of them is the largest? So you can't tell by just looking at those fractions that this one is the largest or the other one is the largest. The problem is denominator. We don't have the same denominator. If the denominator had been same, we would have directly found out the largest fraction just by looking at these three fractions. So the problem here is denominator and we need a way to convert these fractions to a fraction with the same denominator. So how do you do that? It turns out that you can take the LCM of denominators and convert these fractions to another fraction which has the denominator as the LCM of these three numbers so that the conversion is easier. So let me write the first step which tells us to take the LCM of denominators. So the denominators are 3, 9 and 27 so LCM of 3, 9 and 27 turns out to be 27 because 27 is divisible by both 3 and 9 so 27 is the LCM of these three denominators. Now the second step is convert each fraction to an equivalent fraction with LCM as the denominator. So we have to convert all of these three fractions to an equivalent fraction and that equivalent fraction has the LCM which is 27 as the denominator. So let's convert these so we can convert 1 by 3 to a fraction with 27 as the denominator. So we will have to multiply it by another fraction. It turns out that 3 into 9 is 27. So we will have to multiply it by 9 by 9. So this fraction is converted to 9 by 27. Now 5 by 9 will have to be converted to something upon 27. So 9 threes are 27 so it will have to be multiplied by 3 by 3 so 5 threes are 15 so it 5 by 9 is converted to 15 by 27 then 4 by 27 doesn't need to be converted because it already has the denominator as 27 so now you can tell which one of these 9 by 27 15 by 27 and 4 by 27 is the greatest so 15 by 27 is the greatest is the largest of these three numbers so 5 by 9 is the largest of these three fractions. So with this let's solve a question. You have to arrange these fractions into ascending order. So again we will have to take the LCM of the denominators. So LCM of 36, 45 and 60 is I have already calculated it is it comes out to be 180. Now we have to convert these fractions to an equivalent fraction with 180 as the denominator. So 33 by 36 into dash is equal to something upon 180. So we'll have to multiply 36, 33 by 36 by 5 by 5. So 36 into 5 is 180, therefore 33 into 5 would get 165. 42 by 45 can be converted to this equivalent fraction with 180 as a denominator by multiplying it by 4 by 4. So it gives us 180, 45 into 4 is 180, 42 into 4 is 168. Now 57 by 60 can be converted to the equivalent fraction by multiplying it by 3 by 3. So 60 into 3 becomes 180, 57 into 3 becomes 171. So out of these the largest one is 57 by 60. Then the second largest one is 42 by 45 and then the smallest one is 33 by 36. So this is this will come first, this will come second and this will come third. So this is the correct answer, option A.